Hi, kitty cats. First off, blessings of the full moon. Although actually, I guess I'm pointing to my chest. Maybe for the full moon, should I turn around? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe something to look forward to next time. So today is Monday, August 19th, 2024. And this is a behind the scenes look at what I'm going to be working on this week. Now, a friend of mine, hi Gwen, put a link to an article on the gender identity discord I started, which by the way, you can check out on my personal website. There's a, a link in the bio. Now this article discusses how science needs to embrace queer theory in order to become more inclusive and as a result, more valuable to humanity. So quick history lesson. Queer theory originated in the 1970s when academia started to realize people existed outside those norms of sexuality and gender. So what I'm thinking about is that queer theory was never a new line of thought. It was a response to the way contemporary science was being presented. Because what evidence we have of early human history indicates people who existed outside sexuality and gender norms were revered, not reviled. And to call back to what I was thinking about last week, the purpose of science is to choose not to know what we already expect, but to observe and to experience the answer. In other words, queer theory was necessary because science had erroneously allowed binary thinking to calcify into dogma, into social norms. So what we need from science is not to embrace queer theory. We need science to remember most of existence presents not as a binary, but as a distribution of experiences. I will publish a complete article on my website, Gender Identity Today, later this week. You can watch my Blue Sky or Mastodon account for the announcement. Talk soon. Bye.